Welcome race fans to the 2011 Max Racing Series round number one this weekend and let me tell you it was brutal to say the least. The weather the night before nothing but rain an inch of rain and it made the track conditions absolutely horrendous. Some of the bikes in the bike class I should say more than some over 40 bikes missing in action some of the bikes not returning until well after the race same scenario in the quad class almost 40 quads not making it back to the finish line so i'll tell you what we saw early action early in the day in the super mini class i'll tell you what our youth riders putting on a show here today austin lee mike wakowski both of those two riders battling back and forth uh, finally it was austin lee that finished on top of mike wilkowski uh, colton wilkes finished up in third that was that super mini bike class the 85cc, Jacob Payne finished strong out in front of Eric Douglas from Martinsville. Dawson Dunnick also finishing top three. That's your podium finishers in the 85cc class. Moving on to the 65cc class, Drew Rainey dominated out in front of Tanner Durentis. And Casey Moore also rounded out your top three. And that was our youth bike class. In the youth quad class, the talk of the day, in the 70cc class, certainly had to be Sadie Welch coming out here, finishing fourth overall. In the youth quad class, Sadie Welch out of Greenwood on a broken leg, finished strong last week in Georgia, and then came out here again, finishing fourth with the big boys. In the 90cc production class, it was Charlie Welch dominating, Dylan Conwell in second. In the 90cc stock class, Bryson Clark out in front of Bryce Enright for a one-two finish. Peyton Fleming finishing in third. And our 13 to 15 year old schoolboy class, Caleb Moore was the talk of the hour. He finished out in front of Cole Setters in second. Thomas Hufford in third. In the Pee Wee 50 class, we had a turnout of nine bikes. Divided into two classes here today. Finishing first in the Injective 50 class, it was Brody Smith. Finishing first in the 50 Mix class, it was Ethan Sauter. So those two riders out in front here in the Pee Wee class. After the junior class, we thought things were going to dry out a little bit. However, track conditions continued to get worse. What a turnout in the adult bike class. Full lines, side to side, over 170 riders in the adult bike class, and the whole shots were incredible. The pros able to turn in eight laps, one hour and 46 minutes for Chris Bach out on the course as he took home the win in the pro bike class. Adam Bonaire out of Morrison, Illinois, finished in second. Chris Douglas ended up finishing in third. Those three riders all turning in eight laps. Very, very difficult for some of our heavy B riders. A lot of these riders only able to get in one lap due to track conditions. Out of 176 bikes, I believe we had over 50 bikes missing in action due to the track conditions. However, I'd say our guys are gonna be in condition for the GNCC races coming up. And uh, that's what we're looking for, a good, tough competition out of the Max Racing Series. In the quad class, the final and fourth race of the day, I tell you what, it was a battle back and forth between Donnie Ackerman and Ryan Lane early in the competition, but about uh, lap number seven, Ackerman, having some bike problems, had to bail out of the competition for a little bit, able to jump back in, still turned in nine laps. However, he left the win to Ryan Lane. Ryan Lane, nine laps, almost two hours on the course here today. Just incredible that these guys were able to go out and turn nine laps in these types of conditions. Also, Parker Jones finishing in second place, Craig Bowman in third, but another talk of the hour, Jonathan Schaff, who also races for Parks Motorsports, out there on a bike and turning very good lap times, running at the top of the back, actually able to finish fourth overall. So uh, big ups to Jonathan Schaff and uh, Parks Motorsports for that uh, accomplishment. Hopefully we'll see Donnie Ackerman back out for round number two, out there in front with Ryan Lane. 
Well, that'll wrap it up for round one of the Max Racing Series. Again, we'd like to thank all of our sponsors. Max's Tire, TNT Motorsports, Indy Motor out of Zionsville, Parts Motorsports and Spider Graphics out of Monrovia, Western Power Sports and Fly Racing, Martin Logging, and Jet Suspension. So we'll be back for round two and hope to see you there at Horseshoe Bend coming up in just a few weeks. We'll see you then.